How you doing? Uh, Jared Scott here, and uh, just coming to you live from Pocatello, Idaho, my hometown. It's so good to be back. And yes, as you can see, I am driving down the road. It seems like a lot of my videos are uh, while I'm driving, but uh, I'm actually just on my way to meet a friend for lunch, and I just wanted to shoot a really quick video. I've been, um, I'm still in the middle of reading the book, uh, The 50th Law, and uh, Curtis Jackson, um, also AKA 50 Cent, uh, He's, he's talking about um, basically becoming the change. And it really just kind of struck a nerve with me. And while it was fresh on my mind, I, I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts with you. And really just kind of maybe get some feedback, hopefully, and, and find out your opinion. And then share with you my thoughts on it. And, uh, you know, what, why I'm passionate about what I'm passionate about. Um, but uh, becoming the change. You know, have you ever known someone before that... Uh, Maybe they had a job and they were good at, uh, you know, construction or they were a social worker or they went to school for, you know, biology or maybe, you know, it doesn't matter, right? But you just had a friend that had a job and for some reason they lost their job, okay? They lost their job and then all you hear about is them basically complaining and talking about how uh, they don't have any money and talking about, you know, how they, uh, and you maybe make a suggestion, well, you know, you tried this or if you thought about doing this or maybe you offer, you know, even a business opportunity. Oh, nope, couldn't do that. Nope, nope, I, I don't do that. Um, this is the only thing that I'm good at, right? And referring to their job and their specific field or trade or industry that they're involved in, Right? And one of the things, uh, and I didn't even recognize that I was understanding it, right, that I learned or just knew a long, long time ago was that I had to be coachable and I had to be willing to make a change when something wasn't working. I had to be willing to make a change. And um, what I mean by that is, uh, you know, for those of you that have, you know, maybe read some of my, my posts and things like that, um, uh, you're going to know a little bit more about my story, but <clears throat> to give you just a, you know, little 30 second infomercial, um, I dropped out of school when I was 17 years old. Um, I was a recovering addict, still am a recovering drug addict. Um, haven't got high in 13 years now. And, uh, anyways, uh, when I was 17, I got into a relationship uh, with a gal who happens to actually be um, my now 12-year-old daughter's uh, biological mother, and she left when my daughter was about eight months old, and um, so I was, you know, 18 years old at the time, and 12 years ago, time, time goes by fast, and I was a full-time single dad. Uh, you know, I just took that responsibility and I just knew that, uh, you know, I, I was willing to do whatever it took, right? She was my daughter and, um, you know, unfortunately, uh, her mom, uh, you know, just wasn't in a place where she was ready to be a mom. And, uh, you know, we were young and probably didn't make the best of choices, but, uh, uh, but, you know, I'm glad we made that choice, obviously. But my point in sharing that with you uh, is, you know, it's not for pity, it's not for anything like that, but to, to share with you, that was a major event that happened in my life where it would have been easier, right? Because we know it happens all the time. I see it happen all the time. I have friends, people that I know, right, that, you know, for one reason or another, they, you know, well, I'm just not good at being a parent or you know, whatever the case is, parents are split up and they don't make the choice to embrace the change and step up and be a parent. They just don't do it. And I don't get it. I just don't comprehend. If you're not good at something, embrace the change and get good at it. Figure it out. Go to the library. You can get books and read information for free about how to be a better parent about how to be a single parent. Embrace the change. Embrace the change. Now, like I said, 
I had a child at a young age, right? And in addition to that, um, you know, I was almost done with high school, but I, I made the decision and I dropped out. So I dropped out of high school so I could go get a second job. What I quickly realized was, is that I was on a treadmill to nowhere, right? Now, it would have been easy for me to say, I'm a high school dropout, therefore, all I can ever do is get a construction job or get a minimum wage job. But you know what? I embraced the change and I said, this is where I'm at. And for whatever reason, I didn't go back to school. Partially, it was a lot of it was authority, uh, just, you know, things like that. But I embraced that change and I said, you know what? I'm going to make a difference in my life. There's other people doing it. And it has nothing to do with any type of formal education they had. Because I had friends that had went on, graduated, got a college degree, and they weren't even doing whatever it was that they set out to do. And some of them still didn't even have any work at all, right? What I realized was, is it had nothing to do with the amount of education, formal education that is, that I had, right? But what it had to do with was my willingness to embrace change. Because if I'm not willing to embrace a change, then I'm not willing to go out and seek the knowledge, seek the education in order to gain the skill sets, mindsets, right? To go out and do something different in my life. Whether that's being a single father, right? And just making it work no matter what. Or whether that is finding a new career path, right? Um, this internet marketing, right? Uh, this is me embracing the change. This is something that's completely new for me. I've built teams of, you know, 5,000 people offline, right? And uh, had, you know, big success. You know, been uh, the regional vice president for, you know, major alarm companies, okay? Had big, big success. Made, you know, a quarter of a million dollars uh, a year, year after year after year. Big success, right? However, this is something that's new. So I've had to embrace the change. So if you're watching this, um, I hope you find some value, right? I'm going to encourage you just to uh, subscribe to my channel right? And leave your comments below. Just anything, uh, I'd love to have your feedback. Uh, just kind of see what you think, how you feel uh, about uh, the idea of embracing change. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I believe in you. And I hope you have an amazing, prosperous day. This is Jared Scott, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.